All right, we've been promoting Joey Fabus on our show, Stay Joey Strong. I have Joey's mother here, Cindy. We've been doing this for eight years. I'm honored and blessed to do it. I'm going to leave it up to Cindy right now. Come on, Mama. You want me to explain the race? Yes. So this is our eighth annual race for the Joey Fabus Superhero Run Over DIPG. And we're here today at Bethel Park High School uh, fighting for the cause that we work so hard for all year long. Um, yes, and please donate to them as little as a dollar, anything you can afford. They've raised over $100,000 to find a cure. Right. Let's get a cure. Go ahead, carry on. Um, if you'd like to make a donation, you can go to jfccf.org and make a donation there. Um, but our mission with our foundation is to support families and children affected by childhood cancer and DIPG. And through the last eight years, we've helped um, numerous families, too many to announce. And uh, we continue to do that every year. This year, we have a couple highlighted guests, a little girl named Hazel and a little boy named Joshua. We'll be helping them with some of the proceeds from today's event. And put them in your prayers. I want to thank Cindy and Dave. Look at my brand new Joey Fabus gold shirt. And it's an honor of cancer people to get a cure we need to help them i lost my girlfriend nine years ago with cancer so i have empathy for this cause please donate now we'll thank see you. you later thank you again thank you. good luck thank you bye-bye we have a group up here who's going to get us started with the national anthem so guys please remove your hats i don't know who's going to get around who's singing who's singing oh there's one singing right
All right, I got the number three finisher. He recovered so quickly. I'm going to bring him on. Please tell us your name. Hi, uh, Coach Jeff Gavin. Swim and team coach, actually. Where brought at? My, uh, right here at Bethel Park. This no is my way. first year. Brought my whole swim team out to run with Joey. I saw that. I was wondering who's behind this. Now I know the guy. Yeah. It's my a kids are graduates of Bethel Park High School. I live right in Bethel Church Road. I'm a uh, thousand feet away. It's a great community to be a part of. Yeah, it is. I'm honored to have you here, teacher. You were number three. Yeah. Two guys beat you, but you were strong coming in. It was a fun run. Yes. And uh, did you train for this? So I run every now and then, trying to just. In other words, he doesn't do it daily like the rest <laughs> of you. You're a good athlete. You look in great shape. We swim, we bike, we do it all. Definitely. How many of your fun. kids came out? I think we had about 30 here. That is great, coach. You're yeah. an inspiration. We had 30 swimmers, parents, everyone coming out to run, walk, do whatever they could. Well, since this is your first year, are you coming back next year? Absolutely. All right. Welcome aboard. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you very much, And Alex. good luck teaching here. Thank you. Yep. Bye-bye. All right. We got a special guest with a good friend of mine for over eight years. I'll let you introduce yourself. Tell them who you are. My name's Larry Shaw. Uh, I'm the uh, treasurer for the Joey Fabus Childhood Cancer Foundation. And uh, this morning has been outstanding. We've had over 500 runners. you got to be kidding, 500. 500. That's runners and walkers. Thank uh, you, everybody. We just did the uh, 1K with Tasha, my service dog. And, uh, Hold it, can great. I interview her? Tasha. Tasha. How are you? <laughs> OK, she wants a bite. She's hungry. So the run was great. The weather was fantastic. It was like mid-60s. And um, everyone's been great. Thanks for the Bethel Park Police. Well, I had to say a prayer. I live on Bethel Church. It's a thousand feet away. Yeah. There was some drizzle, so I got in the car, put a raincoat in yeah. to deflect the rain, and it worked. Everyone prayed this morning. <laughs> the, the weather looked like it was going to rain. I did too, but yes. The, the mid-60s has been perfect, and thanks to the Bethel Park Police, the IUP Police Academy students, oh, they're wow. going to be officers, the fire police, and every helper that's come down, thank you very, very much. It's a very, very well for a cause. And uh, you're very welcome for that. We're honored and blessed to do this. Tell them what you do, because you do a lot of things with. We do a lot of charity work. So we do a lot of uh, events to raise money for the uh, DIPG and the people that are uh, actually researching it and trying to find a cure. Children's we, Hospital. Yes, Children's Hospital now are doing it. It's gone from California to Pittsburgh. So hopefully, we get some more funding, which is much needed. We can get this thing cured and stop these poor little kids from passing. I'm, it's uh, a death sentence. DIPG is yep. a dreaded brain cancer. Please donate at least a dollar or what you can afford. Any amount of money helps find a cure. Absolutely. And, and DIPG, unfortunately, if you get it when you're an infant, it's six to nine months usually. And unfortunately, it's terminal. So please, yes. please help as much as you can. Hey, thank you so much. Thank you. And your dog, she's beautiful. She is. And thank you very much for all your help. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. Thank you. All right. I'm here with one of the favorite people I like interviewing. He's the mayor. We all know his name, but I'll let him say his name to start. So uh, Jack Allen, mayor of Bethel Park. This is my 10th year as mayor. Congratulations. Yeah. This is the eighth year of doing the Joey Fabus Childhood Cancer yeah. uh, 5K one mile run against yeah. the I, I, I remember when uh, the year that Joey passed away. No, it was so sad. I was, I was like mayor for a year or whatever, and, and you know, we did some right. things for him, and I mean, it, and the turnout today is unbelievable. Yeah, uh, over 500 runners today, yeah. which is super, so. It's, uh, and, which is perfect for them because it's not sunny. Uh, it's, you know, it's Well, uh, I said overcast. a prayer. You know, I live on Bethel Church, a thousand feet away. It was drizzling a little. I yeah. got in the car with a raincoat to defer the rain. My prayer was answered, and I know you got a pipeline to God on oh, weather. It's community either, day was great last week. It's always community day, but we asked him for a little boost this year <laughs> to, to do the run. No doubt about it. What were you doing today? What are you doing here? At uh, I just came to, to cheer support. on the, the runners just to support everyone. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't run. I have a bad knee. Hey, I've and, never or been even this. Walk. I've never been this old before either, okay. so I understand. But 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 we are. Age is the toughest battle you'll it have, is. and I'm honored and blessed to be able to support them. And I know you are. I appreciate oh, what you do in the community. Thanks for last week. 
All right. It was a good community day. It was. It was one of our best ones. And there's a bench over there. Go sit on the bench I'll there, watch my the friend. Rest. Yes. All right. Thanks, Al. Uh, you're welcome, Jack. Yep. All right. I got this group. Some were participants. One lady's a teacher. And teacher. participant. And participant. You have a number on. I wanted to bring out who are you? My name's Katie Mucci. I teach fourth grade at Ben Franklin Elementary School here in Bethel Park. Thanks for being a great teacher. My kids went through the system here. I live right on Bethel Church, a thousand feet away, so I support Bethel Park and everything we do. Thank you. And thank you for this. Who's underneath you, teacher? This is Aiden. He goes to Ben Franklin Elementary. Can you say hi, Aiden? Hi. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, who's next to you? And this is Maxwell Yee. He's in my class this Pass year. Pass the mic. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. What did you do today? Uh, I won the 5K. Thank you very much. I respect you and you and you and you. Pass that to your sister. What's your name? Hi, my name is Marina Yee. What did you do here? I ran the 5K today. Thank you very much for supporting Joey Fabus. Thank you. And next, your name. Hi, my name is Matthew Yee. Thank you for doing the interview. He wanted to get out of this interview. And what did you do today? I ran the 5K with my kids in a wonderful event that had a lot of community here. That's just awesome. No, uh, thank you for doing that. We appreciate you and see you next year. Absolutely. All right, I, I got another guy who knows who I am. So I'll introduce the Hulk this time. Yeah, my name's Mike Johnston, and uh, every year I try to dress up as a superhero to come out for this great cause. Whoa, you're doing great. Watch that fist. Don't well, crack that mic. Sorry, I'll try not to smash it, but you know Hulk likes to smash. I know. Hey, thank you for doing this. We're honoring Joey Fabus, and you're a great supporter of that. I will come and do this race as long as I can every year. See you next year. All right, see you next year. Whoa. I have a gentleman that I interviewed last year. Who are you? I'm Batman. What are you doing here, Batman? R racing for uh, Joey Fabus Childhood Cancer Foundation for a Th cure for DIPG. Thank you for doing this. I appreciate what you've done, and you're back again. It's an honor and a blessing for me to interview you. What did you think of today? We didn't get the rain, and it was Absolutely a good day incredible for you. Today. You kept cool, Batman? Yep. It's a little sweaty. Okay. Well, we understand. You work out. Look at the muscles on you. They're fabricated. Okay. I got an honest Batman here. All right, thank you very much, thank Batman. You, thank you. All right, I'm here with a family that has some issues going on, and I'm going to talk to the grandmother, and she's going to explain. Tell your name first, and Hi. let us know why you're here yeah. and what's going on. I'm here to support my granddaughter, Hazel um, Elizabeth Brown. She's from Port Clinton, Ohio, and she was diagnosed um, July 3rd with DIPG. And as you all know, it's the survival rate is 1%. Um, and I am her Nana, and I have with me my um, daughter, my son, and my daughter-in-law, and our precious um, granddaughter, Vianna. Hold it, they can't get away easy. Yeah. <laughs> stay there, Grandma, okay, stay let there. go, let go. Look at the camera, your name. Natalie Brown. Your name. Matthew Brown. Your name. I'm Elise. Thank you for coming here, and I honor Joey Fabus, and I'm honored to be able to try to help you. Hazel is three years old, and she's right now um, went through radiation therapy for 30 days, and she, they're going to University of Michigan, and my dear granddaughter um, laid on the radiation table for eight minutes, never moved, and they never had a sedator, and she's doing well right now and just playing and has no idea what's going on as a three-year-old. Wow, what a blessing. So She's a strong is. young She's girl. She's a very strong girl. And now you're in my prayers and I wish all of you well and whatever we can do to help, you just let us know through and the favuses. People through Port Clinton have been just, in Ohio, have been just gracious. Um, well, a lot of foundations. Not, not bragging, but no. we're Pittsburgh strong and Bethel <laughs> Park is very strong. So we will try to help you the Thank best we you. can. Just give us the word on what you need or help or what you want to put out there. We will. I'd be honored to try to help you. Thank you. And please donate to the Joey Fabus Childhood Cancer Foundation. As little as one dollar or what you can afford, this is a death sentence. I hate to be brutal like that, yeah. but this is horrific for every family. I mean, look at it, it shatters them. So please help now. 
Thank you so much. I saw this lady come across the finish line first. I have to interview her. I sat down next to her and I go, "You're who are you? I'm Pippa King. And you go to Bethel Park? Mm -hmm. What go, grade are you in? Uh, ninth grade. You have fun in school? Yeah. Why'd you do this? Um, I'm a part of the lacrosse team and basically just to... Um, Help Joey Fabus. Yep. Well, I interviewed the lacrosse team on Community Day, so I don't know if I saw you there, but I interviewed a few others, and I'm glad to have you on here, and thank you for helping Joey Fabus. Yep. I appreciate that, and good luck in all you do. You look in thank great you. shape, and you were number one in my book. Thank you. You're welcome. I run into the neighbor of the Fabuses. Please tell us your name. It's Joe McEwen. And this is you running the 5K one mile run today again? It's a 5K, yeah. All right, well, you don't have to brag. <laughs> no, I just, I didn't run it, I walked mostly. I understand, well, didn't you have some health issues? Yeah, I did. What, what happened to you? Starting when? Well, your latest? Uh, torn Achilles heel and the calf muscle don't fire, so. So you walked a 5K to support Joey Famous? Yes, I did, yes. I want to thank you very much. I appreciate you and see you next year. I'll be here. All right. Thank you. So our third place overall female is Felicity Bryant. Oh, shoot. She left. She's not here. Can I pick it up for her? Yes, we trust you. That's my girlfriend. You can take her. <laughs> Second place is Karen Nichols, and our overall female winner is Jessica Henson. Way to go, Jess! Yeah, How'd you do it? Yeah, Jess! Jess? Karen. Karen. Yes, Karen is second, and Jessica Henson is first. Way to go, Jess! Wow, congratulations! 6.30 pace on those hills. Overall male winners, third place, Ben Hinton. Good job, Ben. I think he's still there. Second place is Devin Ivanovich. And our overall male winner is Andrew Workbell. Anyone? Are you Ben? Devin. Devin is second. All right, our overall female Masters winner is Tammy Williams. Tammy, bring your dog up. And there's just the your dog. Good job, Tammy. And our overall male Masters winner is Oscar Shoot. Second place, Elena Machio. Machio, Chick. 
in first place is Jim McGrath. Age 60 to 69, we had two amazing women in this category. In second place is Mary Jane Swindle. In first place is Kathy Chahelski. She's got Kathy's coming. Kathy's on her way. Is she married? Yes, yeah, she's second. Men, age 60 to 69. Third place is Wayne Ebron. Second place is Mark Balsam. And first place is Mike Romsey. My no. Thank you all for your support. Team Hazel, Joshua, we're all with you.